South Korea on Tuesday started giving doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine to people 65 and older. First up are staff and patients at care hospitals, then nursing homes. A survey shows people are more reluctant to get it than they were a month ago, despite experts saying that the benefits outweigh the risks. Kim Yun-sung reports. From Tuesday, South Korea started rolling out the AstraZeneca vaccine to those aged 65 and older. In care hospitals nationwide, teams of medical experts are administering the vaccines. This care hospital in Gyeonggi-do province will inoculate almost 300 people this week. Vaccine supplies are boosted by a fresh batch of AstraZeneca doses coming in on Tuesday afternoon. In the following week, Inoculations for over 65s will also begin at nursing homes. But safety concerns mean the uptake of the vaccine has been falling. Many of the patient's guardians called our safety department to ask if the vaccines were safe after hearing about recent issues of blood clots or other symptoms. In this care hospital, less than 30 percent of the eligible patients have agreed to get vaccinated which is quite a notable dip from the percentage shown last month, when almost 60 percent of the patients signed up for the inoculations. The dip is also being seen on a nationwide scale, where only around 77 percent of eligible people have agreed to the jab, compared to 94 percent back in February. There were 101 reports on Tuesday of side effects from the vaccines. Most were mild symptoms such as fever or nausea with one case of muscle convulsion and an adverse reaction in the nervous system. Those getting the jab themselves were more positive about the vaccine. I have waited a long time to get the vaccine for the safety of myself, for those around me and for everybody. Some people say that they don't want to get inoculated or they want to get inoculated later. But I still think that vaccinations are necessary. I fully trust vaccines. South Korea has administered the first dose to more than 685-thousand people, which is 85 percent of those currently eligible for the vaccine, 25 days since vaccinations began. Kim Hyun-sung, Arirang News.